Uh, just a little bit about myself. Like I said, my name is Mike Waters. I grew up in Southern California. Um, played football and that was my passion. Really loved it. Every time I was about six, seven years old, all the way through college. That's how I got to Las Vegas. Played football at UNLV. So when I kind of rewind back to the A's that a lot of you guys are, I had probably some of the similar issues that, that you guys deal with. I wasn't a big fan of school, didn't like school, hated every minute of it. Keep 100% honest. Didn't like it. But what I did find, and luckily I did, was, a, was something that I did love. I was very passionate about football. That was my thing. I wanted to play football. Simple as that. So when I, when I kind of bought into that passion and that love for it, it kept me on, on a certain path. It kept me on a certain path. So just like you guys standing here, when I look at you and I see all these you know, creative faces, young people, energy's good, everybody hanging out, but the question that you're gonna have to ask is what are you passionate about? What do you wanna do? Because if you don't have that answer, then you get lost. You just start drifting. You start doing anything that comes up, anything that sounds cool, anything that sounds fun. So what I, what I wanna hope to, the thought that I wanna to create today is everybody start just, just thinking about what it is you wanna do? I don't care how young you are, how old you are, it's now too late to make a decision, to make that decision of what you want to become, what you want to do. So, decisions. So here's what I, here's what I want you guys to think about while I'm standing here. This is no time I'm gonna share with you today. Here's what I want you to think about. I saw everybody stand up when when uh, when they did the the, the, the speech and a couple questions. I saw everybody stand up. Everybody here can see me, right? Everybody can see where I'm at. Everybody can see me. So I know everybody physically is okay, everybody's got vision, everybody can see. So what that tells me is everybody in here has the same tools that anybody else that became successful has. I don't care what background you came from, I just gave you my background. When I was in high school and I told my mom, I said, I want to play football, I want to go to college to play football. Now I don't want to go to college, I want to play football. Which when you get down to high school, you look at it, the next step of playing football is college. That was the only reason I went to college, period. That's it. When I told my mom I still want to play football, so I got to figure out how to get to college. You know what my mom told me? Good luck. That's it. Why? Because she didn't go to college, dad didn't go to college, older brothers didn't go to college, everybody was in the streets doing what they were doing. So what do I have to do? I had to take what I cared about, what I love, which is football, and figure it out. So let me why. My senior year of high school, senior year of high school, California, led my area in Russia, played running back, did good, senior year came around, finished it up, sat back, thinking, of course, it's time for a scholarship, right? Didn't happen. Why didn't it happen? First of all, my head coach at that time told me I was too small to play college football, especially Division I. I'm five, seven, at that time, 155 pounds, small. So from his vision, he was right. But from my vision, he was what? He was wrong. To be honest with you, that pissed me off. It, it upset me because he looked me in my eye and said, don't worry, we'll find a small school, you ain't got something you go to later but your undersized is not gonna happen. So I took it upon myself. I grabbed all my film, made a highlight video, sent it off to colleges, sent it out, got a couple colleges to call back. A couple of them said, we were in your area, we didn't know nothing about you. I'm like, damn, my coach didn't even, well, he already said I couldn't do it, so I already knew what he told him. So I took it upon myself. So here's what happened, long story short, sitting on my kitchen table, I had two scholarship offers, one from Oregon State, one from Northern Arizona. Full ride, 100% school paid for it to go play college, go play football in college. Guess what? I couldn't sign neither one of them. Why? Grades. Grades. Because guess what? I was comfortable just being average. In order to be eligible for high school football, you needed to be, at that time, you needed a 2.0. Guess what I had? 2.1, baby. 2.1. As long as I was good Friday night, I was good. Period. Guess what? I had to take the SAT. Anybody that knows about the SAT, it's a sliding scale. The higher your GPA, the lower you need on your SAT. So anybody that has any aberration to play any kind of college sports, get your GPA up. The higher GPA, the lower your SAT score. But I had a 2.1, remember? So what did I need on the SAT? <laughs> yeah, right. Took it three times. If you added them all together, I still didn't qualify. Didn't happen. Guess what? Full ride scholarship on the kitchen table, sitting at my mom's house in my mom's kitchen, couldn't sign neither one. That hurt. So I reeled it back in, went to a junior college, Mount Sac, down in California, Southern Cal, Walnut. Went to Mount Sac, played there for two years, did good, ended up transferring, made it to UNLV. Guess what division that is? Division one. Guess what my high school coach told me I couldn't do? Division one. Made it. Took the long route. 
the flow route, but I made it. Guess who the first person I talked to when I went back to California? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's who I talked to, right? And I admit it, I had a little attitude problem. I went up, I was like, I thought you said, I got at him. Like, you said. But guess what? Now me and him cool, I didn't talk to him for years. During that whole grind process, I didn't talk. I was bitter, I was hurt, I was frustrated, because he didn't believe it. But sometimes when you don't have nobody believing in you, what you gotta do? Yeah, you gotta believe in yourself. Because it's on you. Hey, parents, guardian, family, for all that, cool, you get it. But if you don't believe in yourself, none of that matters. Nobody outside can believe in you enough to get you to do something. Because now you're doing it for them. What are you doing for you? But guess what? Just like everybody can see, see me standing here, everybody has the ability, the ability to be visual learners. Here's what I did. I looked at people that were successful. I don't care if I had to find them on the internet. I don't care if I had to, you know, artists that I like, that I looked up to. Whatever it may be, find somebody. Find somebody and look, somebody that resembles you. You know, people that know me know, and I love Jay-Z and different people like that. Why? Not because of what they're doing, because of where they came from. So if you don't have it right in your circle, find somebody that made it. Find somebody in the neighborhood that got out. Find somebody that got that degree, that started the business. Find somebody that did that and sit with them. Study them. When I find somebody I like that's a mentor, that's one of my mentors, I don't just care about the numbers and how much money they got and how many records they sold, how many business they got and all that. All that means nothing. I want to know the mindset they had to get from where they were to where they are. Anybody in here, raise your hand if you have an idea of who or what you want to become. If you have an idea of who or what. If you don't, it's okay. I just want to know who does. All right. Cool. Hands down real quick. Who wants to share one? Go for it. Play for the Yankees, huh? Okay. All right. Who else? I want to be a doctor or an NFL player. Okay. I like that. Got the combo. Go to school, education, football, don't work, or be playing in every time, which you're going to have to do at some point. Doctor, right? Boom. Give me one more. Good. Special bit. Nice. Good. So just because you know what you want to be and who you want to be, that's just the start. Now who's willing to put in the work to become that? That's what it is. I want to play for the Yankees. Guess what? How much work are you putting in? Football player. I did that. Not at the pro level, but I did the college level. That takes a lot of work and commitment. So right now, if you don't have some kind of book at home, some kind of journal, some kind of notebook, something that you're going home every night and writing down what you did to become who you say you want to become, you're probably off track already. You're probably off track. So everybody here that knows who and what, get that book. I did it for years, I still do it. I got a book stacked up this high of steps. What did I do today? I had to read this. I wanted to open my own business. I didn't go to business school. No one in my family had a business. I didn't have no mentor that was worth millions of dollars to guide me through the process. I had to learn from reading, following, study, watching, going to seminars, workshops, staying up all night on the internet, all while I was working a regular job to start my business. Right? So you gotta be able to put in that work. If you don't know what and who you want to become, now it's time to start figuring it out. I heard a key word mentioned earlier from the gentleman right before me, your spirit. We are spiritual beings. Everybody believe that? Right? So there's things inside of you, inside of your spirit. There's things inside of you that you can tap into that will help guide you and help figure out what your purpose is. We all have a purpose. Coroner, doctor, football, but whatever it is, it's inside of you. But if we don't tap into that, it means nothing. Anybody know the definition of the word decide? The definition of the word decide. Yep, choose what you think is right. Want to hear my definition? The word decide to me means death of all other, all other options. Because once you decide, that's it. You got to go. You don't have time to second guess it and figure it out. If I were to second guess phase one sports, I would have died the first year. Because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have no money. They didn't have nothing. They didn't have no big loan, parents with money, writing a check about opening up this gym. No. It was grinding. One athlete at a time. First year or two, free. Didn't even know how to charge. Didn't know what to charge. Didn't know nothing. Didn't know what a business was. Didn't know how to run no books. Didn't have no accounts. Didn't have no business plan. Didn't have nothing. All I had was a vision. Some inside said, this is what I want to do. And then I put in the time to learn and figure out the rest. And here we are 10 years later. 
So to me, the word decide, when you decide you want to be a doctor, that's it. So your time, it ain't no time on the Xbox. No time is now studying and learning medical terms. Imagine if you start that mission now. By the time you go to college, you're going to be so far ahead. But if you don't, guess what? You're going to say, man, I, I, I used to want to be a doctor. Now it's going to seem like it's impossible. It's going to be so hard because you got so many years of school. But if you start now, you're going to be so far ahead. But you got to decide now. Death of all other options. You have to make that decision right now. And I'm going to say this. I'm not, I don't want to just say it cliche. You know, spend the time doing something more positive. But the closer you get to figuring out what you want to do and who you want to become, that's where you put your time. That's where you put it. I watch a little ESPN, but then I also pick up Success Magazine. Why? The people in there are successful. What do I want to be? Right? So whatever it is, gravitate to that. You want to be a football player? Study that. Look at Adrian Peterson's story from when he grew up in childhood where he grew up. Look at A-Rod and different players that come from different countries and what the struggle they've been through. Connect to that, then find that passion, find that drive inside you, and develop it. Grow. Keep working. Don't give up no matter what. If, if, if you don't have people around you that support you, don't even talk to them about it. When they say, hey, man, we about to go over here and hang out, say, I'm good, I heard some stuff I got to finish up. They ain't got to know what it is. Go home and study. Read it. Develop it. You only get this much time every day. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? That's what it's about. It's about finding that passion, finding what's inside, finding that guidance, finding that drive, figuring it out, and just focus on it. Laser vision. Figure it out, find it, focus, and just go. Good? Parents good? Everybody good? All right. I want to thank y'all for y'all.